I can hear the purple color. I can hear the purple color. I can hear the purple color. I can hear the damage color. Y'all know me, I'm Perky, and I'm back at again with another video. I don't know what it is today, my baby, but I'm glowing. Yes, sir. We are about to react to this grandmother shows off 24-year-old no kids McDonald's hamburger. Now I don't know if y'all know, but I'm 24. No kids. This burger is my age. So let's see what this burger looked like. What happens when you leave a McDonald's hamburger in a bag for over 20 years? First of all, my question would be, what, did you do that on purpose or was this by accident? But regardless of the cases, we about to see what, what grandma talking about. But before we get into this video, before I click this play button, I just want to say that if this is your first time seeing me on your screen or your returning subscriber, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it's nothing will it content like this. On a consistent basis, my baby. How to hit y'all with that one? Y'all thought I wasn't gonna do that. Yeah. Hey. So you want to see my hamburger? They want to sound like that. Sound weird. In my closet. This is the sack that it came in, and it was advertising a NASCAR race in 1996. So this dates the hamburger in its set to 24 years old now. They look like like sweet potato fries if you ask me. They wow. Okay, okay. We'll keep it going. Let's see what that burger looking like. This burger, if she didn't peel it back, looks like the burgers that they give us. I'm really, I'm about to get into that. I'm gonna let her finish this video though. The meat has never rotted. It's no mold or nothing. It it's didn't never decay. Been broken. It's completely intact. That is sick. Hold on, because there was another video. Let me get to that video. It was another one about a Utah man. You ain't never had to be that loud. We got two ads, so hold on. Because before I dive into anything, let me see. This one, it says exclusive Utah man unveils 20-year-old McDonald's hamburger. So like, look like my hamburger. world's oldest hamburger. Utah and David Whipple has kept this hamburger in, this hamburger tin, since, get this... The 1990s, July 7th, 1999. Well, I'll tell people about it, and they're they're shocked. They're surprised. They want to see pictures. So, how long ago does 1999 hey, feel? It depends upon what the meaning of the word is. Yeah. President Clinton had just survived being impeached. Share believed. <laughs> and the first Star Wars prequel, Lisa called Jacks on Pinks, was the number one movie. And I bought a hamburger, McDonald's hamburger. I think it was 79 cents in Logan, Utah. Dang. the question, David, why See, in the world someone look how it hamburger looks. for more than 20 years? Okay, so the story goes, I had a uh, hamburger that I was using to show people about how things deteriorate. I carried it around for about a month at a couple of demonstrations. Oh, went right there. And then it got stuck in a coat pocket. Right. The coat got thrown in the back of my van, and I guess it just got hung up in our closet in Logan. Uh, subsequently, we moved from Logan to St. George, Utah, and it stayed there for a couple of years. I think my wife was giving the coat away or something and found it. Well, how about reaching into your coat pocket and finding an old hamburger that's 14 years old? That, that is crazy. In 2013, when we first introduced you to David and his ancient burger right here on 2 News. Our YouTube video of the news story went viral. I was going to say went viral, huh? million views. Yep. Since then, David has kept this burger in its tin and hasn't opened it until now. All right. I have no idea. Maybe it's turned to dust. There's the sack that it came in. That was the wrapper it was in. And that's disintegrating more than the hamburger is, probably. There it is. My gosh. That is scary. It hasn't changed. The pickle's the only thing that's disintegrated. This is actually the receipt. I had to put it in plastic. It was just going to be gone. 
Do I smell it? That's no! Probably a no from me, but this burger had only a yeah. faint smell of cardboard. Cardboard, yeah. That hamburger is 20 years old. Yeah. What's your reaction to seeing it like this? Uh, scary. It, it should be. It, it's a real conundrum. It's just crazy. I mean, it looks like That's you could just heat this up in the microwave. Uh, exactly. And, and it'd be good as new. It. I mean, you probably die. Good thing you keep it in a little sarcophagus because you got the king tut of, of hamburgers here. It dried so fast that there was no way that the bacteria or mold could grow into it and make it nasty. That makes keeping a hamburger for 20 years a little easier. That and maybe some money. That's a million dollar hamburger right there. Ew. I don't know, maybe the Smithsonian ought to keep this. No word just yet on the burger's worth, but David hopes it's gone up from the 79 cents he paid for it at a Logan, Utah McDonald's more than 20 years ago. I keep thinking somebody's going to offer me a lot of money for this and I can retire. Oh, they will. Till then. Trust me. From Heber City, Adam Forgey, 2 News. I had to look at this one because I just had to see what they was talking about. So you guys got two reactions in one. I've never done that. This is my first time ever. So shout out to myself. So now it's time to speak on this situation. If a hamburger or anything that you put into your body let me back let, let me let me because i'm 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 doing 10 things at once for them to have this bur burger for over two decades and it hasn't done nothing there was no mold on it it didn't disintegrate in the air what does that tell y'all we should not be putting this in our bodies basically all the stuff that we think is good it tastes fire it's amazing notice how bad it is for us why is it that not even the bun. The bun didn't even, I didn't see not one lick of mold on there. You guys already know, you guys have bread in your house. Y'all know when it's time to put the bread up or throw it out when y'all start seeing mold on it. Why didn't that have mold on it? Why did the patty, no maggots, no nut, that don't, that don't fake y'all. Let me tell you this, a couple months back in 2020 of this year, obviously it's no other 2020, but this year, a couple months back, I went to go get McDonald's. I like I liked ED past tense. I liked fast food. But at McDonald's, nothing slaps more than they chicken nuggets. I got a 20 piece chicken nuggets. I got their fries. I ate their fries and I think only had 10 or 11 chicken nuggets because I couldn't finish the rest of the combo. When I tell you the next morning, I was, I kid you not, I was sick for two weeks. I was sick for two, and I don't want to hear, oh, yeah, no, I didn't. I was sick from this fast food. So ever since then, I told myself I will never eat at McDonald's. But here's the thing, though. We were all put on to not eat at McDonald's in middle school when we watched that, that one movie. I forgot what it's called, but you guys already know what I'm talking about. The one where the man sat there and he did that, that challenge where he ate McDonald's and he got fat. His blood pressure was up, like, everything we were all introduced to this in our pe classes in middle school if not i don't know where you from billy i might be born in the 2000s but long story short we have to be careful with what we consume and what we put into our bodies because if this didn't decay or disintegrate what do you think it's doing to your body it's just sitting there it's just sitting there and it's just you just don't know what it's doing to you stay away from these foods it's not even good it's not worth it get food that freaking expires that that molds that's food that you want. McDonald's killing us, Loki. That's why that Travis Scott burger that everyone's going crazy about. I don't want no parts in it at all. I'm Gucci. I'm solid. I y'all y'all can keep that. And that's another thing I want to speak about. Then I'm gonna end it because I don't want to turn this into like a whole lecture. But you already know how I get uh, preacher perky in the building. Long story short, I have went on a. Uh, a reaction video one of the mukbangs and they were eating either pork they was eating shrimp they was eating lobster they was eating crab whatever it was i said those are unclean bottom feeders we shouldn't be eating them you know how many people in the comment section i had telling me no it's okay we can't no it's not i don't know who's telling you this is how stuff gets screwed up and people was on this side and other people on this side at me if you want to. The law is not done away with. I don't care what none of you guys say. I have scripture to back myself up because a lot of you guys are like, oh, no, that's that's your problem. The the law is not done away with. When it's fulfilled, me, I'm not even about to get into that. If y'all want it, y'all can get it. Come in the comment section, add me if you want to. I and I will I will put you on game because a lot of people are misguiding people with this information that they came up with their own understanding. But as for 
the long story short, don't eat McDonald's. Don't eat any of these fast foods. They're fast foods for a reason. Anything that's fast is not good. Cook your own stuff. Eat healthy. Shoot, grow your own stuff if you want. Because at this point, I don't even trust what, what we're getting in these stores. I'm just trying to help y'all. That's just what it is. Hope I wasn't babbling. I'm going to go back and look at this uh, this video to make sure that I was speaking and dropping some knowledge and not just going all over the place. But I love and appreciate each and si I love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me which one is next in the comment section down below. All my social media is in the description. So it's right there as well. 300k is on the way and we are hitting that by the end of this month. Mark my words. But y'all know when I start touching my face. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Your girl is out.